Leaving the weather for us in Milford on Seas, Hampshire, is Harriet Hadfield, and it looks, Harriet, like it is blowing a gale. <laughs> Stephen, if anything, it is worse than the last time that we spoke to you. We've seen everything here this morning. Lots and lots of rain, lots and lots of wind, and we have now got both of those two things uh, together, coming straight off the sea that was divide right. And the visibility as well is completely gone. I was able to see the other quite in the distance. I can't see anything now. And you may have just heard lovely, even amongst all this noise, a little bit of thunder. So every single thing I think that the elements can throw at someone who is standing in front of a broadcast camera on the south of England, south coast of England, in a storm that has started as a hurricane, come across the Atlantic and is now dumping. Harriet, hang on in there, brave it out, we'll, uh, we'll see you a little bit later on. Uh, that puts it in context, Isabel. Does We have a fearless reporter out there, Milford-on-Sea in Hampshire. Harriet Hadfield is there for us. Morning, Harriet. In some ways, it really does seem as if the weather is turning it on every single time we come to broadcast to you. Um, about five minutes ago, we were saying, oh, it's all a lot calmer. The rain had stopped, although it was still quite windy. But as you can see, it is now pouring with rain again. And that seems to be the pattern of this weather system. A small a dumps of rain every sort of half an hour or so, blown through really by this quite strong wind. We've had thunder and lightning here on the south coast as well. And also the visibility is really quite bad now. We could earlier see the Isle of Wight across to my right, but we can't see anything at the moment. I think for people waking up on this August Sunday, they'll be looking out of the window and thinking, I think I might just stay in bed for a bit longer. It's a shame you didn't get to do the same thing. Harriet, thank you very much indeed. Braving the conditions for us in Milford-on-Sea has been Harriet Hadfield uh, looking at things all morning. I'm pleased to say, Harriet, the hood has come down. <laughs> the hood has come down. I wanted to just prove that it had pretty much stopped raining. It's certainly not pelting us with rain as it was earlier, but both Phil, my cameraman, and myself are absolutely soaked. So a real relief for us that the rain has stopped. Probably momentarily, though, because the pattern that we've seen with this weather front coming through has been a period of heavy rainfall followed by a little bit of respite with a big punch of wind behind it. Um, and that's what uh, you can see behind me and the waves crashing now on the beach. A few brave people have come down to have their own look at this and look at the conditions. Um, the wind now coming a little bit more uh, from the south, so pretty much blowing off the channel. Um, and we've just heard from Brittany Ferries actually that they have suspended uh, their operations at the moment between Portsmouth, which is just up the coast from where I am now, and Cherbourg. So I think that gives you an idea of what the conditions out in the channel are like. So um, a pretty bleak scene that people are waking up to on this August Sunday. We're hearing a little bit of thunder and lightning as well. And I think probably we are waiting for the next uh, burst of rainfall to come through and hit us. Harriet, thank you. It's not, she's been smiling all the way through that, which is <laughs> pretty, pretty uh, good because yeah, yeah. she's absolutely drenched this morning, been blowing a gale on her as well. Look, what can we expect in terms of these waves of, of weather?